What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This video isn't sponsored or anything like that. It's just a popular topic that you may find very useful. In today's video, I'll show you how to get tabs in the Windows Explorer. While it's not technically going to be the same as Windows Explorer, it's a third party app. It does mimic the Windows Explorer very well and makes your life a hell of a lot easier if you have tabs at the very top. It's completely free, unlike other software that interacts directly with Windows Explorer itself. In order to actually get this bit of software on your computer, all you have to do is fire up the Microsoft Store. When you get into the Microsoft Store, all you want to do is search for files. We'll be locating and opening up Files File Manager for Windows. This is currently the best one that I've heard of, and it does a relatively good job of mimicking the original Windows 11 File Explorer. If I click Get over here, it'll then download and install. After clicking Open, you'll see an icon that's pretty similar to the Windows Explorer icon, and it looks about the same plus minus. Things are a bit more rounded, it's more Windows 11 looking than Windows 11 itself, which is pretty surprising. It doesn't have the bar at the very top, and I'm not too sure if we can enable that anywhere, but there is an Options button in the top right where we can change the theme, use a custom theme, which is quite exciting, set up what happens when we launch files, etc, etc, set language and terminal applications, mess around with the sidebar, multitasking, files and folders, and experimental options down here. This option at the very bottom is experimental and will try to replace the default Windows Explorer. This modifies files in your Windows and your registry and uninstalling this won't undo that, leaving you without a Windows Explorer. I wouldn't recommend this option down here, especially if you've had bad experiences with Windows apps in the past, much like me. We also have three dots to enable a compact display, which could be something you're interested in. It really just shrinks the windows down to a rather small size, but of course you can do this yourself as well. Anyways, if we open up a new file browser, you'll see it opens up next to the previous one. But if we grab it by the tab, we can drop it into another browser like that. And now we have two different folders. I can open my desktop and my downloads. And as you can see, I can tab between them pretty easily. I can even copy and paste between them, etc., etc., making life a lot easier. On top of this, it also has its own copy paste, etc., task details up here, which may be something you're interested in. And I do quite like this option here. Anyways, it comes with a bunch of nifty features, and in my eyes, looks more Windows 11 than Windows 11 itself. Of course, it'll vanish from your start bar when it closes, in which case, we can right click it and pin to taskbar. Then we can remove the original File Explorer icon and simply make this take its place. There we go, nice and simple. Just do keep in mind to open this up if you'd ever like tabs and move around inside of it, rather than using something like a hotkey, such as Start and E, to open up the normal file browser like such. Of course, you can use the registry option to enable it as the default browser, but that is rather risky if you don't know what you're doing. If you do want to use that and you insist on it, do create a system restore point right about now before you go ahead and do that. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!